I joined the military right out of high school, uh, Army 2000. I was in the service from 97 until 09. August of 76 until March of 85. This does bring back some memories. I was injured February 24, 2007 by a, a, an enemy sniper. Sniper! Shot me in the right side of the neck. Instantly paralyzed me. Started having some problems. My, my, my mental health started really creeping up on me. PTSD, anxiety, hallucinations. Mine is mainly PTSD. The thing about PTSD is with us having death around us, seeing people die. Reloaded! I did a lot of uh, body recovery after major accidents. Those faces, they, they kept coming to me. That brings us right back to our bad feelings. I was very suicidal and it was getting dangerously close to taking action. I'll be honest, six years ago, I was thinking about suicide because I didn't know where to go, didn't have nobody to talk to, and I couldn't stand the pain anymore. The flashback, the nightmares, the cold sweats, waking up and not realizing where you are, in that moment, it takes a lot to come out of it. Welcome everyone to our third session of the Denver Adaptive Airgun Team. Yeah, let's hear it for them. We were approached by the National Sports Center for the Disabled to see if they could use our facility for their program. We can't get too close because these things don't angle too much, you know? We wanted to serve more vets. How does that look? And make it into a, some place that feels familiar, that they enjoy. All right, shooters! Their program takes disabled veterans and teaches them an air gun. The range is hot. Shooting was a very natural thing for us to do. Shooting a weapon again, it's been interesting. It's very different from an M16. It's an air gun that shoots at a maximum of 300 bars, so about 4,000 PSI. They have a long rifle and they also shoot a pistol. They can shoot from a standing position. They can also shoot from a seated position. Back here is a, a straw and I suck on that straw and it'll pull the trigger. If you can dream it, somebody can make it. They changed the stand on me. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing a really great therapeutic value coming through the program. We really have seen veterans identify some of their mental health problems and said, how can I do better through the focus, the relaxation, the parts that are truly therapeutic and beneficial with this program? It calms me down. Targets are too small, but... The little tiny circle is like, I got to focus on it some. And it has really helped me out a lot. Overall, I'm doing pretty good. I'm very stable. Being around fellow vets that have some challenges gives me somebody to talk to. Because if you haven't been there, it's hard to understand it. That was just above the bullseye belt right there. The staff here at the Denver Police Firearms Section, we're doing this all on our own time. That's pretty good. <laughs> Even though we worked a 10 hour day today, we can't wait for them to get here. That's really good. Right. Lori's like, no. oh! Come on. <laughs> it's fun, first of all. I'm having a lot of fun here. It's fun. And it gets me involved in the community even more. I'm super excited that this program exists. I'll be here every time. Nice. I learned a lot from these guys and these veterans. and learned what they've given to our country, and it's, it was an opportunity for us to try to give something back. Through therapy and medication and, and programs like this, I'm almost back. You can sit at home and dwell on the darkness, or you can walk out of that tunnel and 
find a new normal and, and move on with your life. Without programs like this, I don't know where I'd be. I really don't. For these guys at the NSCD, nothing but love for them.